Hi guys, it's May here. Welcome back to my channel again. Hello everyone. <laughs> I know I'm wearing the same clothes because I want to do three videos today since I'm so behind on this channel. So, okay. So, people are were asking me People were asking me about how much did it cost for us to bury dad? But first of all, guys, if you are not subscribed on this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Please help me make this channel monetize. I need 1,000 subscribers and I need to produce 4,000 hours or 240,000 minutes. So if you guys are not subscribed on this channel, please do subscribe. And I do have another channel which is Princess Mace Kitchen. If you guys like, uh, you know, to cook a simple Filipino dish, it's in English. So for those of you who would like to learn how to cook Filipino food, it's in English, guys. So I tried my best to put it in English. So if you guys would like to subscribe on that channel, please do subscribe. I'm close to 50,000 subscribers on that channel. So I'm really, really happy. So please help me get this channel monetized, okay? So, okay, let's start. So when we buried that, here in North America, you need to have a life insurance because burial here in Canada or anywhere in, in, in North America is going to be very, very expensive. So when dad passed away, we spend a lot of money, but most of the money that we spend was from dad's life insurance. We've been living here in Canada for the last 30 years. So 30 years old, we've been paying for life insurances. So um, when dad passed away, uh, we gave him the best of everything from the casket, to his vault, to the, the clothes that he wore, shoes, everything. Because I, uh, my siblings and I, we were thinking that, you know, for most of our lives, dad always gave us the best of everything. Um, we didn't grow up rich. You know, we are not rich. We're just ordinary people. And my parents work very hard, you know, to brought us where we are right now. And so when dad passed away, it seems like this is our last time to serve him. Um, before we talk about my dad's funeral cost, I just want to let you guys know that dad didn't pass away in the hospital. Um, yes, he was hospitalized last January 27 to the 28th. Um, it's only like for two days, two nights, and then we decided to take him home because he really doesn't want to be there. And plus, he couldn't see any one of us because of COVID, so we decided to take him home. Um, dad, my dad passed away due to um, severe aspiration pneumonia, but he didn't really pass away because of the aspiration pneumonia. He passed away um, because his heart stopped working. Uh, he was diagnosed of CHF, congestive heart failure. So that's how dad passed away. And of course, the uh, aspiration pneumonia also contributed to that. Um, when we brought dad home on July 29, I thought he is go he is going better, you know. Uh, when we brought dad here at home, he has a hospital setting here at home. Uh, my my friends are managers. Um, they're all registered nurses and they are managers on their department. So I'm very blessed to have all of them. They were the one who helped me ha to have dad in a hospital setting here at home, from home care to physical therapy, to occupational therapy, to nurses coming in and out here at home. Dad has the best of everything. Um, you know, uh, he has his own hospital bed. He has his own um, oxygen. And plus, because I work in healthcare, it also contributed to that, that I've known these wonderful people in, in our lives that help us when dad wasn't doing well. So when dad passed away, he passed away here at home with all of us around him and and yeah so um even on his last breath my dad died i was hugging him on his last breath and that's why it was so difficult for me to 
kind of like you know recover from that because you know i've been working uh, in healthcare for so long a lot of people died in my hands already holding their hands while they're on their last breath but i didn't realize that when it is your father it's it's so difficult it was so hard to overcome that part and sometimes you know when i sleep at night i can still see my dad because i was hugging him when he he took his last breath and it was still very painful and that's why it's been a long time since uh, i've been doing like you know uh videos and stuff especially in cooking because my dad is my number one fan um on my other channel and when he passed i just don't have the energy to cook anymore is because he's not there so and yeah so that was like a little bit background on how my dad passed um he didn't pa he didn't died of covid and with god's blessing none of us got covid um i work in a in a place where at one time it was really really bad the covid in our area but you know it was just a blessing that on night shift i was one of the people there's only two of us that didn't had covid and i was one of them and i was so thankful to god and until now we're all healthy and i think that's the god's blessing for us you know and so um when dad passed away uh he had the insurance um 70 percent covers his funeral um, and his burial and stuff so whatever was left my sister and i and my brother we were the one who put our money in to cover everything um my dad had one of the beautiful um coffin that we picked it was my mom who picked the coffin at first it was me and my sister and then my mom she ch she changed it and it was very beautiful um i wish i can show you guys the video i have a lot of videos but um i couldn't really post it because i don't want people to kind of like um you know um see my dad in that situation <clears throat> like when my dad passed away his face was just he was just like sleeping so okay so we picked the best coffin the best vault the best clothes my sister-in-law was the one who picked it and everything was you know we give him the best of everything because we were thinking you know this is the last time we're going to serve dad and of course we're not going to see him anymore and the money that he had for insurance we applied everything to his funeral because like you know my siblings and i you know with god's blessing we are all working and we're earning money too so we gave dad all the all the money that he paid for the last 30 years that he's been here so and the cost of his funeral is close to forty thousand forty thousand dollars um we when i was like talking to my siblings even to my mom i told them that you know if dad passed away back home we can have a mausoleum for dad you know and um yeah that's how much is close to forty thousand dollars we spend if you guys don't have life insurance here in north america it's going to be very expensive to to be buried here because that's what we did to my dad we buried him um when he was leaving before he just wanted to be cremated and he told me and my sister was the witness of that he told me that if he passed away uh we can just cremate him and his urn i can put it on my small altar inside my room but i said to my dad you know uh we don't have the heart to see him burning like that and plus you know we love our dad so much he's been a very good father to us growing up he gave us the best of everything and that's why we decided to no i said to dad no like i didn't grant his wish we didn't grant his wish so we decided to bury him in a nice burial with the best of everything even on his last part like the monument like my sister and i and my brother we paid 7600 for his monument because i i don't I, I i want it to be like you know beautiful like i'll show you guys when it arrived but it's been seven months it didn't arrive yet but i'm going to do another vlog for that so yeah so when you are living here in north america it is very important that you have a life insurance 
um, if you don't want to go on life insurance, so I suggest that you guys will start saving because the burial or even the cremation is very, very expensive. Um, before my dad passed away, my sister and I, we bought uh, the lot at Westlawn. So we have four plots already ready. Um, we use one for dad and then uh, we have one for my mom, one for me and one for my sister. The reason why we did that was because the the price of the lot in the cemetery right now is rising, especially during the COVID time, it got so expensive. At that time, when my sister and I purchased the four plots, one plot was only like around 5300 But now, after seven months right now the plot is around seven thousand already where my dad is buried right now so um i'm going to uh, show you guys a video on where my dad is buried and the area um where he was buried um it's very nice it's a new area at west lawn it's called the garden of tranquility and on my dad's area it's really clean and it's it's so nice everything is uniform it's so beautiful it's away from the main road so it's very quiet and that's how my dad wanted it because my dad he is he is a very quiet person and he loves nature so during in the morning when I come to see my dad in the morning to visit him after work you will see a beautiful sunrise you know, when I come like around 7.15, because I usually be there like around 7.15, 7.20 in the morning after work. Beautiful sunrise, beautiful clouds, like it's just so beautiful. Uh, right now, because it's summer, it's a little bit too hot because he's like, you know, the sun is facing to where he is. But aside from that, the area is beautiful. It was so quiet and yeah. <coughs> So again, if you guys are living here in North America and if you don't have life insurance and you don't have that much money and you are in the middle age, I think I suggest that you guys start getting an insurance or if not, if you don't want to be on insurance, start saving, saving a lot because yeah, burial here in North America is not cheap. It's very, very expensive so yeah so anyhow that's it for today you guys so the next time i'm gonna show you is where my uh dad is resting but i'm going to do that once his um pedestal comes and you know because until now we're still like you know waiting for it it's been like you know seven months it's a long wait but yeah so anyhow, thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day everyone and see you guys on the next video. And again guys, don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget to hit that notification bell. Okay, so you don't miss any of my videos. And again, if you guys would like to learn how to, uh, you know, do basic cooking, Filipino cooking, cooking 101, I have another channel, Princess May's Kitchen. So please do subscribe, okay? I'm close to 50,000 subscribers, you guys. I'm so happy. And please help me monetize this channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye for now.